Any greetings. My name's Morning Starbear. For decades, University of Saskatchewan professor Kerry Barassa had claimed to be of indigenous ancestry. I'm Bear Clan. I'm Anishinaabe Métis from Treaty 4 Territory. But one year ago, a CBC News investigation found she was of entirely European ancestry. Barassa was placed on leave and under investigation, but then resigned. So the investigator focused on the broader problem, indigenous identity fraud. I think the university underestimated the utter greed of white people who will do anything to get the jobs and the prestige and the money and the positions. She says for decades, universities have been setting aside jobs and scholarships for Indigenous people, but no proof was required in order to qualify. It, it's poison. It seeps out everywhere and then every everybody is tainted by it and everybody's damaged. Just last month, CBC News published an investigation into Mary Ellen Terpel LaFond, a high-profile academic and former judge who for decades had claimed to be Cree. What status mm -hmm. does that give you? I'm a Treaty Indian. I'm a Treaty Indian. The CBC News investigation found no evidence in support of that claim. Retired Senator Lillian Dick and a group of other Indigenous women are calling on 11 universities to revoke honorary degrees they granted to Terpel LaFond. If someone does something that's unethical or lacks integrity, there should be consequences. Most of those universities have told CBC News they take these allegations seriously and are looking into them. As for Tapella Fond, in a statement released shortly after our investigation, she said she continues to believe her father was Cree. She said he was adopted by her non-Indigenous grandparents from a Cree family, but she hasn't provided evidence for this claim. Jeff Leo, CBC News, Regina.